<laughs> so what are we going to see this upcoming season? It's a real game changer, so different than season one. Yes. How would you describe it? Well, the stakes have obviously got bigger. Uh, the crowds are massive now. Instead of a couple of amps, you've got thousands. Instead of a few people desperately trying to battle them, you've got thousands fighting back. So, obviously, the stakes are getting more and bigger as the virus spreads you know, through the city and indeed probably through the world. Um, so that's a big... That, that's, that's, and then I think the, the character developments are very curious as well. Um, certainly from my point of view, when you're 86 and an, an angry trillionaire, um, and you're gently ill, you know, it's not a lot to do, you know, just lie there, make my money, try and find an answer to help. But then to be restored, you know, to, to, to help where you've got strength and What's the word I'm using? Figure. Um, that, that, that changes everything. It changes everything for Palm. Is this coming season going to be a lot more interesting for you to play? Yes. Because of these Which <laughs> Get off the gurney. Get off the gurney and into bed. Yes. Nice. <laughs> you become quite the politician this season, too. Yes. It's more statesmanlike, I think. More statesmanlike. More, more of a much more public face. I think I've always thought in the past that he was rather reluctant to, to be seen in public. Um, reclusive almost. Reclusive billionaire, Everest Palmer, da da da, you know. And now he's got, his, got more confidence to do that, to talk to large groups of people, to help them to. It's fun to see, for us to see the younger you. Mm. Yeah, it's been, it's, How is that for you to see, to, to know that backstory and see it actually then? It was three hours to make me old and four hours to make me young. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's that's it, it's now it's two hours. So yeah, no, that's it's 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 great to get out of the get out of the building. You know, I get to I get to get out. You know, look around and go to restaurants. <laughs> Well, can you tell us about Miss Marchant and Eldridge's relationship with her? She is his new assistant, now that that turncoat son of a bitch, that treacherous um, Mr. Fitzwilliams has, has quit the building. Um, he needs a new assistant, and uh, I think she's, she's perfect for the job. She's beautiful, and she's intelligent, resourceful, just beautiful. Looks <laughs> really <laughs> It's lovely. It's just lovely. You know, he can bathe in, in her loveliness, which is nice. You can, you can appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.